for the Rawhide. Caswell Smith is in relief for Vasquez. Call to the bullpen is brought to you by Rescom. Rescom Pest Control has been protecting customers' homes and businesses from pests, termites, and rodents for over 30 years. Make your home a pest-free zone. Say hello to Rescom and bye-bye, bugs. All right, first pitch from Smith. Misses outside ball one. Again, he is in relief for Vasquez, who threw two scoreless innings, did not give up a hit, but he walked two while striking out four. Smith is facing Miles Naylor. The pitch is outside. Naylor, the designated hitter today. One for three. He was 0 for 4 yesterday. This is his first game, or rather first series in the Cal League. 2-0. Strike at the knees. Caswell Smith is one of the hardest throwing pitchers we have in the bullpen. We'll just see if the radar gun's working during this inning. The 2-1 misses high, and of course, as I say that, it's not. There's the broadcaster's jinx for the night. 3-1 count. The pitch is a little low ball four. Naylor draws a leadoff walk to start off the ninth inning. Now batting, number three, Henry Bolte. Henry Bolte bats from the right side with the runner on first. Nine to nothing, the Rawhide lead. Smith. 0-1 this season, a 6.55 ERA. The pitch gets away from Gavin Logan. That allows Naylor to take second on the Wilds pitch. Runner in scoring position now. Bolte today has struck out three times, 1-0 count. Smith, the right-handed pitcher, sets and delivers. Strike on the outside corner. This is Smith's 10th appearance out of the pen. He's thrown 11 innings, striking out 15 while walking seven. The pitch is check swing foul. 1-2 count. Opponents... Opponents are batting 313 against Smith this season. Signed as a free agent last year. There's cold strike three on the inside corner. Bolte strikes out looking for the first out of the inning. Four strikeouts in the day for Bolte. Gives him the golden sombrero. One down, runner on second. And Miles Naylor is still the runner on second as Yaniel Laboy bats from the left side. The pitch is an off-speed pitch. That's a strike at the knees. Smith, 6'3", 210 pounds. 22 years old, originally from Georgia. And signed last year as a free agent by the D-backs. The pitch is outside, ball one. The boy today has flight out to center, grounded out to second, and he's also struck out today. So here's a stat for you. Three hits on the day for the Ports. That's as many times that they've walked as well today. Here's the pitch. It's lined into left field, a base hit in front of Rojas. Rojas gets it in quickly to hold Naylor at third. And just like that, now four hits. So one more hit, then a walk drawn by the Ports. Runners are on the corners as Mujica, the catcher, bats from the right side. Tomorrow, first pitch will be at 7 o'clock for game three of this series. Expected starter tomorrow for the Rawhide is Oscar Pimentel, while Luis Carrasco, the right-handed pitcher, will be on the mound for the Ports. Infield at double play depth. The first pitch misses very outside, ball one. Mejica 0 for 3 today, a strikeout and two ground outs to short. The pitch misses inside, almost hits Mujica, but he's able to spin out of the way. Two-o count. 
Smith delivers. The pitch is swung on and missed. Fastball from Smith, two balls and a strike. Two one, fouled off into the netting down the first base side. Two balls and two strikes. Just over two hours into this ball game, about two hours and 15 minutes. It is 9.15 local time here in Visalia. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Runners are on the corners. Smith delivers. The pitch is swung on a ground ball. The shortstop, no, the third baseman. Sim throws it to second. In time, on to first, not in time. Sim, the third baseman, cut off the ball from the shortstop. His momentum taking him towards second. Just threw on the run because it was not a very hard hit ball. No chance of getting Mujica out at first. So a run does score for the Ports. Naylor scores the first and only run so far for the Ports. They avoid the shutout as Tyler Mark, the pitching coach, jogs out rather quickly to have a quick conversation with Smith. So LaVoy retired at second, and Mujica reaches on, reaches on the fielder's choice. Nine to one ball game in the top of the ninth inning. At the plate is BJ Cook. All right, we're ready for Cook who's batting from the right side. The pitch is lined down the right field side, but it's into the netting. Infield shading just slightly to the left. The first baseman Cabral not holding the runner on first. And why would you with an eight run lead in the ninth? Cook has two hits today. He's also walked, he's yet to be retired. The 0-1 is a strike at the knees. No balls, two strikes, two outs. O2. Low and outside, ball one. Good waste pitch from Smith. So again, first pitch is 7 o'clock tomorrow. We'll be live at 6.55 at rawhidebaseball.com. You can also join us on Valley Live and MILB TV. One, two. Just misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. Off speed pitch from Smith. Two, two. Comes in and it hits Cook on the helmet. Took off his helmet. Hit by pitch as the athletic trainer comes out to check on Cook. Athletic trainer Noah Huff out there down by the third base line. Looking at the replay, I think it got all helmet, hopefully. All helmet was towards the bottom of the helmet in the back right near the nape of the neck. Really have to hope that was the helmet. It will be runners on first and second. I'm not sure if they'll have Cook stay in the game or not. Quite frankly, I don't see a reason to risk it if he has any pain or any symptoms of concussion or being injured. It's a nine to one ball game in the top of the ninth. I think they were just asking him how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> All right, looks like he will stay in the game as he's getting the helmet from one of the bat boys. So he'll stay in the game. He goes to first base. Always a scary moment whenever it's near the neck or the helmet head area. Man, Cook says he's fine. So he reaches base four times today. Two singles, a walk, and a hit by pitch. Runners are on first and second with two away for Pedro Pineda. 
Pineda has struck out and hit two ground balls to second today. Raja just looking for one final out to even up the series here. They fell yesterday 7-1, to one, currently lead 9-1. to one. Here's the pitch. Little outside ball, one. Some movement in the rawhide pen now. The 1-0 is a one-hopper to the second baseman, Torini slides to make the play. The throw to first ends the ball game. The rawhide defeat the ports 9-1.